by traders. So in today's video and rather in this video series, I will tell you and actually show you everything about the strategies that most beginners try to use in their trading. And I know that my webcam is just the worst of the worst, but at least you can see me because, um, you know, it is a miracle. So in this video series, I will really test strategies with high quality tick data that most beginners use. And I will show you why they don't work um in the way you use it or you use it in the past because every one of us started with the same bullshit strategies and i will show you why it is so hard to actually create something that is working and you know the issue is with most strategies is that the sellers and scammers and you know just the publishers of the articles and blog posts and the, the strategies themselves they they tell you that you should only backtest them for the last you know 25 trades or for the last one day or one week or one month and that is not true and because you know i am a coder what I do is when I see a strategy or I, I have a strategy in my mind, I always just, uh, you know, start to code the strategy. And it is not because necess necessarily I want to trade with it. It is because I want to test the strategy. So in this series, I will just do that. I will just uh, show you how I usually uh, test a strategy uh, for the first time and so these will be the, ba the the most basic strategies in the world so for example right now i've just um you know coded the the simplest ea in the world and that is the rsi robot that everyone starts with or you know the strategy and so let's see how the rsi could work in long term because you know of course if you want to just gamble uh, and just um, trade for two days and then blow your account then you don't even have to watch this video because then these strategies are made for you but if you want to understand why these strategies don't work in the first place and how you can test them you should watch this video absolutely so um as you see or as you don't see i will show everything uh, to you um where should be my face is i don't know maybe maybe here yeah that's good that is my uh, that is my face so uh, as you see um here are the parameters um now it is quite uh, obvious because I made the parameter names quite obvious because um, why not? So uh, this EA does the following. When the RSI is above a certain level, it sells. And when the RSI is below a certain level, it buys. So basically it is the most simple uh, RSI strategy that exists. And what is the problem? The problem is that most traders and I will show you how it doesn't work and use the basic um, 14 uh, period um, RSI and yeah, um, one uh, lot size. And so you usually start with the uh, 70 and 30 range. That means that if the RSI is above uh, 70, you sell and if the rsi is below 30 you buy it is really simple and you have a basic um, stop loss and take profit now as you see here i already um, did the inputs and the 
stop loss is 200 pips and the take profit is uh, 15 and <laughs> you know life is life and most traders starts with um, really really high stop losses and really small take profits and it is because your psychology will tell you that you should you should that that if you are in a bad position in negative position it will come back and it will become profitable in the future and th this is why you put the stop loss so high and the take profit so small because when you are in profit you want to take the money out and just you know just uh, hunt so let's start with this um let's uh, use the um EUSD um one hour chart and so basically we have the most the simplest strategy and let's see how we perform in the back test now we test this strategy from uh, 2000 to, to you know to this day let's see now i started with a um uh, five thousand dollar account and i think most traders starts with you know like three hundred dollars so let's do it with uh, um no with three hundred it is not a really big account of course um let's see let's see yeah so <laughs> you stopped out um let's see uh, then use just a new uh, lot size um and um let's watch the strategy and how it works out if it even survives with um this small small lot size okay so basically it you know didn't blow your account but the issue is that you won't trade only on one pair and if you will trade on multiple pairs let's say you trade on you uh, you know uh, the major pairs um the problem is that most likely they com if you combine them they will absolutely blow your account and um you know on one on one currency it was just 13 percent but here you know you almost lost your entire account because you traded it one fucking more currency with the lowest lot size possible so if you if you trade on like 10 pairs that is not so much actually you will lose your account multiple times over the course of you know one and a half years so it it um it won't worth the time for you um and you know there will pairs that perform not that bad but it's just statistics and of course there will be uh, every kind of performances but overall this strategy will be a fucking disaster so um let's see if we can do something with this strategy and actually be profitable because i don't i i won't i won't say that with an rsi strategy you can't be profitable but i will say that for long term you can't be profitable with an rsi strategy and an only rsi strategy because just not how life works so what traders also use is um just you know one or five minute charts and uh, so let's take a look at that if this is better or worse um because i don't want to tell you what to do and i will i want to show you the you know all the results as they have come oh man <laughs> that is not so good <laughs> that is hard to watch okay so it is it is one other thing if you use and traders don't believe me traders don't ever believe me if you use lower and lower time frames your your performance will be just worse and worse 
And traders don't believe this. They, they tell me that I'm a moron, that I use, you know, daily time frames, monthly time frames, and uh, four hour time frames. They think I'm a moron. But actually, um, that is, that those are time frames that, that I use because of like thousands of hours of programming and testing and optimizing. And so it is not some coincidence. Um, okay. So let's see if you let's see if you are better if, if you're better if you use a considerably higher take profit let's say 50 what 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 can you do with a 50 stop loss as 50 take profit and a 200 um, stop loss let's see as you see as you just um, you just it is more discipline to have higher uh, take profit but as you see it 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 is not that bad as if you use the 15 um, take profit of course you can be profitable with a simple rsi strategy so it won't be you know profitable but it is you, but you but you won't blow your entire account multiple times and that is something for a beginner. Let's see. Let's let's just go ahead and and take a look if we, we use like a one to one risk to reward ratio. Uh, because in this video, I want to show you the power of um, of knowledge and the knowledge of statistics and how you can have some advantage over the market even with the worst fucking strategy in the world. So let's see how we perform with one to one risk to reward ratio because, and I don't recommend to use a simple, you know, RSI strategy. So don't do that, but I want to show you some stuff and, uh, um, how you can protect your account, even if you are using a bad strategy. So this is not an advertisement for this strategy at all. I don't recommend to use this strategy, <laughs> but, um, you know, I just want to show you some statistical thinking of how you should approach trading. So let's see if we have a one to one risk to reward ratio, but a little bit higher, uh, take profit and stop loss because there are numbers that are a little bit better and a little bit worse for um, forex trading and to long-term uh, profitability. So, yeah, it is. It is just not quite good. <laughs> it is, yeah. Uh, so I I want to show you how you can just try out different parameters and first i don't really recommend for you to optimize uh with, with biological algorithms because you won't understand op what optimization is and how you can actually do it by hand and as you see um there are better so um this is other, one other thing traders don't believe me that you can be profitable with a with a really low take profit and stop loss level, even if you are using one to one risk to reward ratio and they don't believe me somehow. And so in this video series, I will show you some real facts and why you actually have to use um, a minimum pip stop loss and take profit, even if you are using the good um, risk to reward ratio so as you see it is not quite bad but it is not good at all because it is one and a half year and you made like five percent um and on other currencies um who knows <laughs> so let's see another currency and how it uh, works out but the key is to learn how to tweak parameters and don't rush to optimize parameters because of magic numbers and because op real optimization requires a lot of patience and knowledge actually so yeah so um 
I really encourage everyone to just learn a little bit of coding because it is not that hard to code the most si the simplest EAs. Of course, if you want to make some really complex price action patterns and systems, that is tough, that is hard, that is com a complex project. But if you just want to test if a simple strategy works or not, it it is not that easy. It is not that hard. Sorry. <laughs> so um, let's see for the next uh, part. Let's see if we can tweak the RSI levels a little bit to make some more make some more out of this one simple indicator. Um, I should tell you that I won't have so much hope, but um, for you know because this is and if you are especially if you're a beginner, you might think that if you know some indicators, and that is an advantage uh, over the market because most traders just click away and they follow signals and stuff, or just cl just click on the I don't know best looking chart and buy or sell. But the problem is that now we are living in a world that is growing exponentially, and yeah, there were times in the eighties where if you knew a technical indicator you had a really big advantage. But now we are trading against artificial intelligence and stuff. So knowing what indic one indicator won't be enough. So um, in this video series, I just want to show you how to properly test a strategy for the first time when you d don't haven't traded with it and the you know the author of the article or the blog post that you read uh, told you that this is a great strategy and oh man you will make so much money and there are youtube videos about this strategy where they show you how awesome how it works but the problem is that there are they are pre-recorded videos and uh, you know the authors of the, those videos are just fucking scammers so um Let's see if we can make some more profit if we lower, if we, if we uh, uh, just tighten the two numbers or we make them wider uh, from each other compared to each other. Now, first, let's see if we can make some um, more profit um, if we first, let's see if uh, uh, the exact number with this uh, setting. And uh, then we will compare the results of uh, different parameters. Yeah, that will be plus five percent. Let's see if we tighten the two numbers, how we react. So let's see and. Um, I want to make this series to be authentic and not some stuff that I already, you know, just planned what I, the exact things I will show you because that is not life and that is not trading. So um, now I am just doing what I, I, I'm doing when I first see a strategy. I code it in a really simple way, just a sketch. And then I just try out different settings and different parameters to see if it works or not. Of course, this is the, a really simple strategy, and uh, but I think it will be beneficial for you if you watch this video and just feel how you can actually make advantage if you know statistics. So, for example, now you know that if you have a fairly high... Um, stop loss and take profit and it is not fair it's just an optimal uh, amount if you have a good enough an opt kind of an optimal value for a stop loss and take profit you can you can i won't say you can be profitable of course with a simple strategy 
but you can secure your funds a little bit. And of course, trading is a really tough job and you won't make much money if you don't train yourself emotionally. And of course, if you have a pretty big um, stop loss and take profit ratio, you it will it will take extreme amount of patience. So I know why people choose these really bad stop loss take profit ratios and uh, and risk to reward ratios. Uh, and I will show you that if you it doesn't matter if you have a good um, risk to reward ratio if you don't use a minimum amount of pips to trade with. This this looks oh this looks really bad, let's say the least. So let's see if you trade with if you are trading. And and people come to me and they they ask me, what oh let's see what the fuck is this? Yeah, it's so sad. So uh, people people ask me why they blow accounts over and over again. And when I show them how I trade, they tell me, oh, that is just that 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 is just so low amount of trades on a day that this is bullshit. And yeah, I trade like you know one, two or three trades in a week. Not in a day, or not even you know, sometimes I trade only ten trades in a month or less. And it is it is just it is the the key really the, one of the keys of course is patience and on the i would say on the emotional side the biggest uh, challenge is patience of course there are there's greed and fear and stuff but patience is just without patience you can be a good good trader who is profitable and as you see this is bad too so there is an optimal amount of pips, yeah, that is just that you have to use in your trading, and it doesn't matter if you have a good risk to reward ratio if you don't have that amount of pips. And it is, I think, it is interesting because most traders think, Oh, yeah, now I know I have to have that good risk to reward ratio, and then I will be profitable. But if it would work that easy, everyone would be a millionaire. Or at least many of many of you, and uh, so little amount of people are millionaires, or even don't blow accounts. So it is just I I hope it is an eye opener because I've never talked about this. Uh, I I've talked about risk to reward ratio ratios many times, but I haven't talked about that. It is you have to find the right parameters even even if you have a good risk to reward ratio as you see we arrived to a certain point where it is better when you you see the the you see how it turns to almost positive when you just uh, increase the the pips the number of the pips that you use because 20 was bullshit 30 was bullshit even you know 50 was Bush. And now with 70, it is not that bad. So let's see a uh, 90. Um, and it doesn't necessarily, it, it won't be necessarily better, but it, it can be because uh, there are optimal numbers in trading and uh, you can't deny that. And let's see how it performs. Yeah. You know, it is some optimizing by hand, but it is not some magic now that you found find magic numbers that are that don't is, exist, don't even exist. This is just pure logic. Actually, I wouldn't say it is. It is a strong word that they are optimal numbers because um, there are many factors that you that you should combine to have a working strategy and there are no single optimal numbers but there are numbers that are better than other numbers that is the correct way to phrase it so 
Um, now, the next thing, I now I showed you how important it is to not use too little or too. Now I show you how, how it's not uh, a good way to trade if you use too little pips, even if you have a good risk to reward ratio. And I, w if I were in your place, I would just write that down because most traders fail if they do that. So, um, the next thing, what if we just, 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 uh, make it wider and if we do it in this way we will have a an 80 and a uh, 20 um, parameter let's see let's see if we can actually have a better an overall better trading year if we use more strict rules no so it it it, it is the other uh, mistake that traders do they think that if they they will use more strict rules they will have a better they will have they will have more precise trades and therefore it will be better but the the problem is that you use indicators in the wrong way so if you you use more strict rules with the bad strategy then it will be even worse so uh, the logic is a bit um, off um, now one thing you can do is we found out that there are some optimal numbers with with every strategy and what you can do is and i know it is it is just not some um thing that most traders actually can manage to do because it is just so scary to use higher take profit than stop us that is just some uh, ungodly thing but in real trading you should and you should absolutely use let's say a minimum two times higher take profit than stop loss because if you don't use that you will have a much worse chance to succeed so um we should I don't know. We use a a. We can combine these optimal, more optimal numbers and um, average it, and just use a a not so big, but kind of somewhere the optimal in the optimal range. Take profit, um, and let's see if it works or not. <laughs> And actually, these two numbers worked for me in many strategies. Of course, not with the most the simplest strategies, but uh, with some more complex strategies, alongside with uh, dynamic exit and uh, price percent or ATR or parabolic based um, exits. But as you see, with this combination you have a pretty good offer direction in your equity and balance at some point and you don't have that sickness where the balance is just off right here somewhere and your 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 equity is on the in the sky because most scalpers and those kind of uh, eas and robots show that of course the the equity looks good but the balance is off the charts and uh, you know it is just let's not talk about it so um in the next chapter let's see if it how it perform i i i'm i'm not curious curious if it 
how it performs on another currency. Uh, if it's any good or it is just, you know, blow your account or stays somewhere the deposit you made. Yeah, it is not that good. Um, so um, the thing is that I, in this video series, I show you ways to, I show you a couple of things. First, I want to just prove with facts and statistics why the same old strategies that every beginner uses, why they don't work, but how you can tweak strategies into, into, into a place where they don't necessarily make money, but they don't lose money because it is one of the most important things. And you know why? Because from that point, you can uh, add more indicators to your strategy and start to build a what? A profitable strategy. So, and let, you know, if you have a strategy that, let's say it won't make any money, but I, I show you how a strategy with very low pips can blow your account multiple times and this and with a good strict to reward ratio and good parameter uh, set with let's say the simplest indicator that is RSI, you can make an EA or strategy that won't blow your account. And I know it sounds funny, but for most traders, that is a level up, that is just an advancement. So, um, and when you have that first line of indicator and strategy that won't blow your account, then you can add more, more and more steps to it because that is a base, that is a, that is a thing that you can, that you can build a strategy on. And actually, maybe it can make a little bit money as well. But if you want to be a professional trader, it doesn't enough if it makes 1% per, per year uh, overall. So that's why um, you shouldn't use one indicator only. Um, now, the, f the next chapter... We will try out um, some some things that um, are that I always recommend to try out because most people only and it is I don't know why most people only trade with the same periods that traders did you know I don't know many many dec decades ago so the 14 period RSI is a famous one and everybody wants to use that because that is cool but actually why I don't really understand because and now I will um, ask for some help from the optimizer um, let's see if we use the same um, we, we should use the same parameters as we so 20 you know or rather 20 above sorry i'm a moron Yeah, and a uh, stop loss of yeah. and then we will ask the um, optimizer to do some optimization for us. And I want to explain this because I think many beginners watch this video and some advanced traders who haven't used optimizing or you know this kind of interface so what i do now is um, um until then this until this time i i adjusted the parameters by hand 
but now, now I just want to show you uh, a, a way to optimize something, some strategy, and don't that won't uh, find the worst magic numbers that are only good in backtest and they will blow your account in real accounts. So, um, one of the main things are with this uh, is to, as I did, is to find some good numbers that are close to reality and pure logic and then test on multiple currencies with the same numbers. Test your strategy on multiple currencies with the same numbers. And that is one way to make sure that you don't, you didn't find some, um, some bad, bad magic numbers. Uh, and I, and magic numbers are now not a reference to, uh, MT4, MT5 EAs. Um, but the, the perfect, let's say a, a fake perfect number parameter set that is only good in backtest and it blow your account in real life because most sellers and I would say scammers this is my clock it it when when there is time you will hear a bird singing so um it won't um it won't work in a real life account because you just found a really specific set of parameters that are only working one time, one currency, and just, you know, um, so I, and I have to explain it further because it is really important to use different set files for different currencies. So different, so in detail, different parameter set for different currencies. But first, when you start to just explore a strategy, you have to do it in such a way that you avoid a first line magic number um, parameter set. So for first, you have to find a parameter range that you will use in your other set file searching period. So you have to find a parameter range that you will use in your further optimization that won't generate magic numbers. Um, now, let's see. Um, the other thing is that I want to tell you that most traders um, think that if they use it is another thing that I don't understand if they you okay they are brave out of the box thinkers and they use let's say uh, other periods than 14 but then they go to 16 and I mean okay it's it it is it's it is somehow um, it is experimenting but it is not some creative uh, thinking at all so and and that way you won't find anything. Um, so what I would tell you is to use some really small and really high extreme numbers. And let's see and combine with uh, the, the, the good parameter range and set that you, that you found um, with pure logic. And just let's see if it finds better ones or that was the best one and you and your human mind just uh, found the perfect solution yeah it uh, it it is not that impressive it, it, it haven't found so many sets uh, that are positive I don't even find anything. This is quite good. Hmm. Now that is boring. 
that is what we need. Okay, I I I got a bit bored. So um, let's see if we change it to some smaller number and uh, yeah, do some do something with these two. Oh, sorry. Let's say let's say from. 70 to 100 and from to you know 20 <laughs> let's say um so it is just some basic optimization <laughs> it's nothing fancy uh, about this um i just want to show you if the computer finds some better solutions or so what i want to tell you is not that you should always use like extreme numbers because that doesn't that won't lead you too far but just you know just have some imagination <laughs> that's all um let's say we you know we use the same stop loss take profit that is i think that is good for this uh strategy um, but I would just experiment with the um, just a little bit with the RSI levels, um, not too much, and then with the period, of course, it is not it is not like really extreme. It is not like one thousand. It is just fifty, um, and for to to have some results faster because this is a video. And I don't want to make it for 10 hours uh, because you, it would be boring for you. Just use 40 and let's say what we got. Hmm. Let's, let's see. It is, uh, okay, it is two trades. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, it is not that impressive. Uh, let's say it's 26. Mm -hmm. And what are the parameters? I want to explore this situation. Yeah, it is not that different at all. <laughs> this this bad boy. Mm, now we, we are talking. Um, so... Now I just uh, I want to just show you how you can use optimization even with some simple strategies if you want to explore if you want to explore them a little bit further because simple indicators and strategies and price action patterns will be the base of your really complex and profitable strategy so you have to learn the basics to actually become a pro it is just it is just real life um so we 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 start to get some results and i don't want to wait uh, the whole uh, optimization to be you know over so and it, it is just that i want to show you some basics so um this is let's just let's just see um so the computer found a um kind of a similar setting that we worked with um actually one thing that is considerably different is the period of the rsi and in my opinion if you use this indicator in your trading strategies alongside with price action patterns fibonacci levels anything you know um, anything you can imagine and you anything you've created as a trader or you know you you should always try to find some other parameter than 14 because that is one of the worst parameters for RSI in my opinion. And I will show you some more, some ways to actually benefit from the other 
from other parameter periods with this indicator as well but that will be another video so this is kind of a nice chart but we have to we have to say that this strategy is just itself it, it can't really it can't really work and I will show you now that okay we found some good some not that bad parameter for for one year but let's see how it performs because you know that in my years I always use 20 years now with this uh, software I can use um, not a you know a um, 10 year period and that is that is quite good but let's see it if it <laughs> how it works in 10 years because the disadvantage with the simple strategies is that you can find pretty good settings for them for a limited time period for like one month or one year maybe but you can't find good parameters for these strategies for like 10 or 20 years and it they they fail in long term and actually i i think all of you have used this kind of scamming eas and robots that you know the seller claim that oh they work like 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 a charm uh, and you know they then they lost all the money in two months and so when i code my ease i i i just maybe i am very strict but i can't i just can't trade with an ea and i can't can't do anything with an ea that hasn't performed well in the last 20 years um based on not magic numbers but real ranges and that is why when you know and a strategy may look like just the best but i only have and the seller or anything only have like one or two years of data i can't trust it uh, as, and even five years is not enough because i've done so much forward testing that i know that you have to have in at least 20 years back test result to actually have good results in live on live accounts and that is what really works and the problem is that it is so hard to make anything that 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 performs good in the time period that is not martingale greed or some bullshit and have good risk to reward ratio that is almost impossible so the fur in the next chapter i want to show you how what is what is a, another thing that you can do with uh these kind of strategies and that is uh you know it is a really simple um logic that is uh to um to um you know have a dynamic um stop loss and take profit and you can do that by reverse you can do that by many in many ways but you can do that by um reverse the um enter strategy and when when your bot opens a trade in one direction your your bot will close the other uh, direction straight and that is a dynamic exit now for this strategy i think i will uh, just why, why not just uh, i won't use any uh, stop loss um you know and uh, take profit um uh, yeah I, I i don't need this right now it is not necessary to delete it but why not <laughs> it looks better and um so let's see what what it what it does and um oh one more thing sorry 
Um, yeah, it, yeah, let's just use this. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Because this is one other thing that traders you are using. The that you know when you close, uh, especially with oscillators and with the basic indicators that when you just uh, close a certain trade you open another and uh, and uh, it is true in the sa same direction as well um, and actually i am a big believer in dynamic exits um, of course with the with the simple strategies like this it the, it it just can't do miracles but based on my experience in really long in long term trading and with real bots that are are stable and that are just don't blow accounts they must have a dynamic exit it is just a key because uh, with only stop loss and take profit even if you have good risk to reward ratio you can't be stable enough to like put your hard earned money on the line or other investors money that is another thing so yeah as you see it is stable not nothing fancy it, it won't it is not a miracle and it's the holy grail strategy uh, <laughs> and i just want to exper show you some experiment let's see what would be if we do this how it would perform yeah let's let's do this so what i did now is i just completely gave uh my uh my you know this this strategy to the system to uh find you know some parameters and um i am just really curious if it can actually find something that is valuable uh what i did uh, i will explain it further um, during it, it is doing its work so what i did is just i left the biological algorithm to use all the time frames and find and, and uh, find uh, parameter sets on all the time frames i eliminated stop loss and take profit uh, as i said before I don't recommend I don't recommend this practice but uh, I just did because I want to show you some stuff um, and I only let the dynamic uh, take profit and dynamic stop loss basically dynamic exits I can't call them stop loss or take profits um, dynamic exits and I also let the algorithm to look for parameters uh, in the range from 10 to 90 with the RSI um, because I just want to see if uh, it will it will fi find some uh, tricky parameters that are completely against the rules that uh, is the strategy or it will find some old school stuff is this above no yeah it's nothing interesting now that is quite interesting is almost the same um, yeah, uh, moment okay yeah so the conclusion is because uh, I want to close and close <laughs> end this video with a conclusion is that the in my opinion the key is that these strategies when you are a beginner and you learn you know rsi and moving averages and cci and atr and you know these fancy names they are they can't work by themselves they can work by themselves for a little bit of time but they will fail on in the long term and the key is as you see 
as you as you already know from this video is to find some optimal parameters first for all the indicators or you know not optimal but now the the uh, you know what optimal means now it means that you find numbers that are better than others and not magic numbers that is the <laughs> explanation but so you should find some optimal parameters for all the separate indicators by themselves and then put together those indicators and and make make the necessary changes so they can work together but also let the all the participants so all the indicators to be individually uh, profitable or not profitable but at least uh, stable enough to not lose all your money or not lose too much money because if you put together all the indicators but they only work together it it has a much higher chance statistically to blow your not not to not blow your account but to be profitable only for just some time and then lose lose money not all your money but a couple percent every year and that that doesn't work your time and uh, effort to make the ea so yeah it is just it found some things but the bottom line is that it found some things that is uh, uh, that is stable enough and now we wanted that because most traders blow accounts with the strategies and in this video i want to show you like as many details as i could to prove that you can't trade with one first one single indicator with low pips even if you have good risk to reward ratio you obviously you can trade with really high stop loss and small take profit and you have to find um optimal parameters that are that won't generate magic numbers in optimization so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did just leave you know um, leave um um nice comments and i will make more of this my camera cam <laughs> my webcam is so bad that i I barely see my face but I think I look better with this camera because it blurred my face and it it is kind of nice okay let's forget it man uh, it, this is a long video I hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful and ciao